Hey folks, I'm Tennessee Brando with the Midas Touch Network. Have you guys ever saw something so bad, so terrible, so horrendous that you just had to share it with someone else because you felt like that because you had to endure it, someone else should have to endure it with you? Or maybe you just needed to vent and rant about the train wreck that you just witnessed. Well, that's what I have for you guys here today because I did not know this until last night, but apparently Eric Trump's wife, Laura, is a singer. And she has a music career. And recently she recorded a cover of legendary Tom Petty's iconic anthem, I Won't Back Down. And now she is upset because when you search it on Apple, you can't find it as fast as you can find Tom Petty's version. So I've got this clip of her here telling Hannity about how unfairly she's being shadow banned. Take a look at this and then let's come back and really take the gloves off. It's really sad because this is the but kind you, of treatment. You just can't make this up. I mean, you really can't. Yeah. Uh, well, but this is the kind of treatment that I think conservatives are used to. We're used to being censored. We're used to being shadow banned, which certainly I already know my song was shadow banned. Uh, so many people told me on Apple Music, on Spotify, on Amazon Music, they wouldn't put my song on the radio because it was too political. Okay, first of all, Laura, can you please stop saying my song? It is not your song, okay? It is Tom Petty's song. Tom Petty wrote the song. Tom Petty sang the song without the use of auto-tune. And Tom Petty and his band actually performed the song. So it is Tom Petty's song. It is not yours. But she cannot quit saying that. She goes on Twitter and she says, Hey, Apple, where is my song? Why doesn't my song appear when you search I Won't Back Down? Well, I don't know. Maybe because your name's not Tom Petty? Maybe because Tom Petty himself has different versions of the song. Maybe there's different live versions, different remixes, different remasters, different studio versions, different studio demos that might appear first. And maybe because real artists like, I don't know, Johnny Cash covered it. Maybe because Pearl Jam covered it. I don't know if I'm off base here, guys, but I just kind of think that Tom Petty, Johnny Cash, and Pearl Jam would come before we ever saw or heard of Laura Trump. Am I wrong? But of course, everything has to be about them and everything has to be about their being silenced and their being shadow banned. And Eric Trump runs to Twitter and he says, breaking, Apple appears to be viciously shadow banning Laura Trump's new song, which immediately upon release was 31st on the iTunes charts. Laura's name when typed in full is hardly viable and can only be found below fake news too. The song itself is unsearchable. Again, Eric, it's not your wife's song. And we've already went over the reasons why that other people's names would appear before hers. But let's point something else out here. We need to point this out. Uh, Tom Petty's family actually sent a cease and desist letter to Donald Trump's campaign for using the song, I Won't Back Down. And they said this, both the late Tom Petty and his family firmly stand against racism and discrimination of any kind. Tom Petty would never want a song of his used for a campaign of hate. He liked to bring people together. So Tom Petty's family didn't approve of Donald Trump using the song in his campaign of hate. I'm pretty sure they're not going to approve of Laura Trump's horrendous rendition of it either. And folks, for those of you that haven't heard it, I'm not going to tell you to go listen to it, okay? Because I want to remain friends. I want you guys to continue to like me here on Midas Touch. But if you guys just have to go look, if this is like the really bad train wreck that you can't look away from, or this is like when you're at the rodeo and the guy's getting stomped by the bull and you just have to go see for yourself, be forewarned that this is horrendous, okay? It sounds like she was walking through a shopping mall and she saw a little karaoke booth and she jumped in it and she sang it real quick. She hit the auto-tune button and she came back out the other side with it. It's horrendous, okay? And that is why that you're not seeing it when you search for it. It's because, number one, the song sucks, and number two, she's not Tom Petty. So it's, it's, it's ridiculous that they've took it into this whole, I'm being shadow banned and I'm being silenced, but what do you expect? That's what they do. They failed as businessmen and women. She's failing as a musician and trying to blame her failures on being shadow banned by the evil liberals. And it's all bullshit. You know, folks, I've been a musician for over 25 years and I have a lot of pet peeves. I have to be honest. I have a whole lot of pet peeves when it comes to music. And one thing I cannot stand is when people ride off of a famous name to bypass hurdles that other musicians had to get over. And when they bypass hoops that other musicians had to jump through. 
there's a whole lot of really good, hardworking musicians out there who write their own songs, sing their own songs, perform their own songs. They do it on a nightly basis. They work hard. They pay their dues. And folks, musicians, they get more rejection in one day than the average person would in a lifetime. Musicians constantly face rejection, and they constantly face criticism. And you never know when you write a song what's going to connect with people and what's not. You know, there's times that you can, you can write a song and you say to yourself, this is the best thing I've ever written. This is going to be the one. This is going to do it. And you put it out and people go, yeah, that's not bad. And then sometimes you can actually write a song that you didn't even think was, you wouldn't even really trying too hard. You wouldn't even really that serious about it. And people goes, I love that one. So Laura Trump has a long way to go in her music career here. Um, and un in understanding that, you know, it's not as easy as just putting your name on something and going out there and playing to the built-in audience that's already there for it. I hate that shit, you know? She had a built-in audience already for it. There's people gonna tune in just because it's Laura Trump, it's Eric's wife, listen to her sing. You know, it's one of my biggest pet peeves. So many people in the music world, and I really hate to go off on this rant, but so many people in the music world will ride off of things like that. You know, I was the second cousin of Elvis Presley's maid. It's like, no one cares, okay? No one cares. Write your own songs, sing your own songs, perform your own songs, go out there, bust your ass, pay your dues, do it that way. You know, people will respect you a whole lot more. You know, Laura Trump could have went into a karaoke booth and threw up in a bucket, and she would have had people buy it because her last name's Trump. But you, you, really, you really, folks, you can't make this up, and uh, I hope you guys can forgive me for, for pointing this out to you if you didn't know about it. Uh, if you guys go listen to it, you know, uh, get you some Tums or Rolades first and please don't hold it against me because I love all of you. <laughs> so folks, keep hitting that subscribe button here on the Minus Touch Network, despite the fact that I just made you aware of this train wreck and uh, be sure to get these videos out there to your friends. And until next time, you guys keep tuning in and I will uh, keep telling you the truth and I will keep probably exposing you to stuff you don't want to hear and see, but that's what we do here. So you guys have a good one. We'll see you next time. Hey Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.